that letting go of that? No, it's just that I got to, I mean, gotta, I can't, we don't have any timeouts. I shouldn't have picked up the ball to get the five second count started, so I, I got to let the ref hand it to me and let him do it. So. You guys really never could get into a rhythm it looked like offensively. You'd have two or three good ones and then disappear for a few minutes. What did they do defensively that maybe you guys haven't seen in the first two games or the exhibitions? Uh, I think just played with energy for 40 minutes. They had guys who wanted to, wanted, to, wanted to win and wanted to play hard and wanted to play for 40 minutes. And if a guy got tired, they were able to sub somebody else in. You guys were talking yesterday about that. Being number one inspires the opponent or can. Did you sense any of that tonight? Yeah, absolutely. It's everybody's championship game when they play here, when they play us. I mean, I've been in that position. When you come in and you play a right team, like, they have a big target on your back, and, and we have a huge target on our back every game. And I think they came in with uh, with that kind of confidence. They're excited to play us. And like I said, I think it's like their championship game. Nate, how big do you all those offenses you showed this one, especially down the stretch for the last couple of you guys anything different? I just need to play tougher. I, I got out hustled and out man today, and, and that's on me, and I'm fully willing to accept that. Um, and for them to get offensive rebounds like that is really deflating, especially when you work hard. And you, I mean, I didn't, <laughs> couldn't guard anybody today. Um, but to, for them, and, and at the end of a shot clock, if they get a hand on and they tip it out, like that's big for them because they get another 30 seconds. So we have to sit down and guard for another 30 seconds. And, uh, it's just for them, it's huge. I, mean, we, I have to do a better job of hitting guys and going, going to get the ball. How strange of a, a swing in the span of seven days is it to go from beating the number one team in the country at Madison Square Garden to losing as the number one team in the country at home to a 25 point underdog? Uh, it's hard to kind of put into words. Yeah, it's a hard pill to swallow. Um, for me personally, it's deflating because I got absolutely outplayed today. And, it's frustrating because you focus and you prepare, you watch film, you do all these things, do all the little things to prepare for a game like this. And I've been in that position before. And to get out hustled when I've been there is, is so frustrating for me and not too happy about it. Did you say anything to the guys in the locker room as, as a guy they kind of look to in moments like this maybe? Yeah, I mean, it's November 12th, right? So we have five, six more months of college basketball. We'll be fine. It's it's one game. Um, it's a frustrating loss, and everybody understands that. And I know there's 13 guys in the locker room that are ready to get back after it. And whoever we play next, hopefully we're ready to go. Gotcha. Nate Cal said that y'all could, in a few weeks, look back on this, and this could be the best thing that happens to this team. Absolutely. How do you make sure that happens? Uh, it starts tomorrow. Um, we have an off day, but I know guys are going to be in the team. Guys are going to be Starts Thursday in practice when we start with film. Um, probably on the lift. We have to have good energy in our lift. We have to have good energy in, in, in film as well. We have to be focused. Guys that can't be slouching, sitting up straight, looking coach in the eye. Just small stuff like that. And then in, pro, in practice, we have to have laser focus. Um, everything we do, they're going to be pushing us to see who's mentally tough enough to, to go through a practice after a loss like this. Um, so I just have to do a, a good job of keeping everybody upbeat, keeping everybody positive. You said before the season, toughness would probably be an issue. How do you guys teach that? Um, I don't know if you can teach toughness. Uh, I think it's kind of with like 13 guys, we're all basketball players. It comes with who we are. Um, I know that there's certain ways to get it out of guys, whether that's yelling at them, whether it's making them run, or putting a, an arm around them and talking to them in a certain way. Um, but I know there's 13 guys in the locker room that come, come Thursday for practice, they're going to be tough ready to rock. Is this the kind of game that you'll sit back and like pick out the flaws and see what you could have done better? Or is this a game that you'll move on and uh, just prevent it from happening? I mean, every game you could go through and pick out the things that you did wrong. We did that with Michigan State. We did it with um, Eastern Kentucky. We're definitely going to do it with, with uh, Evansville. Um, I think for us to, to kind of get better and to make progress moving forward, we have to look at it, make the adjustments, and then get rid of it.